Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Costello. I'm doing day three. We're gonna be multiplying some radicals. So I have a little, kind of a little checklist for you when you're doing these, just to kind of give you like some guidance. You can go, okay, you know, I did this, now I gotta do this. So the first thing that we do when we're multiplying them is we make one radical. So both numbers go in one radical. And when you do that, you're still going to multiply, but you're just going to you're going to put them under 1 just so you can see it. So that's our first thing that we're going to do. The second thing that we're going to do is we are going to break them down and we're going to look for groups of 2 or groups of 3 depending on what you're doing. And we'll kind of go through like which one is which, um, like as the video goes. So now when you do this, <clears throat> you know, you know, from day one and day two that like if you don't have a group of two or a group of three, it stays in the radical, which is exactly the same here. But this time we might be, you know, having more outside numbers. So when you do that, if you have more than one number that goes outside, you do have to multiply like the leftover inside numbers and the leftover outside numbers too. So that's the last thing we're going to do. Multiply outside slash inside numbers. And today isn't honestly that awful. I think we're going to kind of um, feel like we know really, really know how to do this. So let's see. Let's see what we're doing. So on number one, we're going to go ahead and do number one together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is that step one, which is write them in one radical. So you would do radical six times 12. See how like I didn't multiply them because I don't want a big, big number in there. I'm still trying to do groups of two, groups of three. So when I look at these two numbers, I go, okay, I have six and I have 12 and I already have a six. I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to be smart about this. Let's see if I can get a six from the 12. And I know that 12 is six times two. Now, when I break them down, I kind of cross them off just so we can keep track of who stays in, who stays out. Okay. Now I'm looking for a group of two because this is a square root. So the sixes are going to come out. Okay, remember, these guys, they fight, they throw down, only one comes out. So I only write one six, and that two is going to stay inside the radical. Okay, there's nobody left for the two, so he's stuck inside. And that would be my answer on number one. That wasn't that bad because we played it kind of smart, and we looked for, like, similar numbers. Same thing on number two, I have 6x and 18x. So if I go ahead and draw my square root and I just write 6x times 18x, like I don't actually want to multiply the 6 and the 18 because that's going to be a really big number. But I'm going to play this really smart. And I'm going to go, okay, I have 6 and I have 18. Can I get a 6 from the 18? I can. 18 is 6 times 3. So I totally have a group of two right here with the sixes again. Awesome. This time, though, I do have letters, and that's a little different. I have two letters. Now, what I do is I go, okay, I'm making a group of two. So group of two, I actually write out the X's, and I put them in groups of two. So one, two, there is my group of two. So the X's are also going to come out with the 6. Okay, so the 6 is throw down, 1 6 comes out, the X is throw down, 1 X comes out. Okay, and then the 3 stays in the radical. Okay, now I know I said the outside numbers multiply. When you write 6 X, that is being multiplied. So you're good on that one. 
Okay, number three, we're checking if you're paying attention. Number three is a cube root. So now we are looking for groups of three, not groups of two. So we're still going to rewrite our radical. We're just going to write cube root. And then you are still going to write four times 12 like that. Now on this one, um, yes, you could get a four from the 12, but you're looking for groups of three. So I'm going, okay, maybe I should actually break down the four this time. Four is two times two. So I already have two twos. I just need one more to make that group of three. Can I get that from the 12? I can. 12 is two times six. So right there, look, sorry, I forgot to cross them off. Um, right there, I have three twos, okay? So all three twos, they throw down, but only one two can come out. Only write one, and then the six is left inside the radical because it doesn't have, there's no way we can get um, a group of three from the six. No way, because six is just two times three. There's no way we can get anything like that. So that would be my final answer on number three. So I gave you three different examples. Um, and now I think you guys could totally do A, B, and C on your own. So you're going to pause your video and do A, B, and C. Go ahead and pause your video now. Okay, here's my work on letter A. Letter A was actually a little challenging because we haven't, today we haven't really practiced like when everything inside the radical goes away and everybody, you know, breaks out and throws down and all that stuff. So um, it was, yeah, this is one that I was just kind of seeing how it would go. You Hopefully you got 10. A big common mistake on this is a lot of you guys will see the fives and you'll be like, okay, cool, there's the fives. And then you'll stop and you'll write five square root four. You have to be really careful though because if you see right here where I just, I just circled with my rainbow pen, the four can break down to two and two. So that's why you have to break everybody out and then multiply those outside guys, that five times the two. Okay, there's my work for B. I kind of wasn't tricking you on B, but I was really just like checking, you know, do you guys know your stuff? Um, six and five. If I try to break those guys down, there is no way I can get a group of two. No way. So these guys are just kind of all stuck in, uh, I, I don't know if the other teachers are calling it radical jail, but that's what I call it. Um, they're all kind of still stuck in radical jail. Nobody's breaking out. Nobody's throwing down, so um, square root 30 should be your answer on B. And then on C, hopefully you're paying attention. You needed a group of three, not a group of two. So I made a group of three with all the three. C, one, two, three, right there. Oh, my pen's not working. There we go. One, two, three, right there. The four can break down to two twos, but that's not a group of three. So we, um, we leave it right here at three cubed root of four. Okay. So we've only been working with like just radicals, just people on the inside. Now we're going to work inside numbers and outside numbers. I don't remember if I put it in my checklist, but you keep, you only multiply inside numbers together and outside numbers together. Always do not put inside and outside together. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that because the people who are in jail are in jail. People are out of jail. They don't want to be in jail. So don't, don't mix them up. So on number four, we are going to multiply outside guys. So two times three, two times three is six. And we're going to multiply the inside guys. And inside I have six and three. So six times three. Now let's simplify the inside, right? Let's see if anybody can break out. So play it smart. I have a six and a three. Um, I think I get a three from the six. Six is two times three. Perfect. Okay. Group of two with the threes. Those guys throw down. Only one comes out. Remember, when it comes out, there's already a six there. So you do have to multiply these guys. 
So six times three, and then leave the two on the inside, two still in radical jail. Six times three is 18, radical two. Now, eventually, we're going to get to a place where I'm not going to have to really write that six times three. I'm just going to know, oh, I multiply outside, guys. So there you go. All right. Number five, same thing. So, um, oh, I've, I have not been doing a good job. You still have to ask yourself groups of two or groups of three because sometimes we'll put a group of three in there on you guys. So number five, groups of two because there's no number right here. Um, inside numbers go together. Outside numbers go together. The only outside guy that I have is that four Y. So I'm just going to write it in the front four Y. Then my outside or my inside guys, remember you put them in one radical and you multiply them. So 7y times 14y. Now let's break these down. Let's be smart about our inside guys. 7 and 14. 14 is bigger. I know that 14 is 7 times 2. Okay, so I broke 14 down. Look, there's two pair of two. Awesome, the sevens. Um, the two's going to stay in. Now we do have letters, we have two Y's, and I do want a group of two, so one, two Y's, there you go. So the sevens are going to come out, the Y's are going to come out, let me show you what that looks like. We still have four Y on the outside, and remember when two things come out, we multiply them. So four Y times seven, or sorry, four times seven is 28. Now there are two Y's right there, so we write it as y squared, and I forgot to say again, remember your radical two, the two is still stuck inside, so make sure you have a radical with that two. And that's gonna be your answer. That was kind of a, kind of a tough one. Okay. Number six, All right? Number six has an exponent two. Now, exponent 2 means I'm multiplying this whole thing by itself. So, your teacher might teach a little different. So, if you want to ask them about it tomorrow in class, that's fine. The way I teach it is the 2 means write it twice. So, you're multiplying and writing it twice. So, if this whole thing is 4 square root 3, I'm going to write 4 square root 3 times 4 square root 3. There we go. Okay, so the reason why I do it that way is now you can see inside numbers versus outside numbers. So here's my outside numbers, 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, okay? Now the radical, you might, you're going to learn this trick, but for now we're going to just write it out. Like we have the two threes and they stay inside together, so they're 3 times 3 on the inside. Well, right there you already have a group of 2. That's awesome. So the threes break out, and remember, you do have to do, you have to multiply because you already have that 16 on the outside. So 16 times 3, 16 times 3 is 48, okay? Now right here, I kind of like did this the long way. Whenever you multiply a radical times itself, like see how I have square root 3 times square root 3? I promise you, every single time, the radical goes away and you're just left with what's on the inside. So if you know that trick, that's super helpful for later, okay? All right, I gave you plenty of examples again. Actually, no, let's do D. Let's do D. And then you guys are going to do the last two on your own. So D, why am I not having you do D on your own? Well... You got to be careful. There's a three right there. So I do need groups of three. So we're going to write them in one radical because there's no outside numbers. So 10 times 100. I'm going to break down the big number first, right? Because I'm looking for groups of three. 100, I know, is 10 and 10. And I broke down the 100, so I'm going to cross it off. And look at that. There's my group of three. Um and there's nothing left in the radical. Everybody, you know, they fought, only 110 came out, but you know, nobody's in radical jail, so it's fine. Okay. Um, 
I think you guys can do E and F on your own. So go ahead and pause your video now and do E and F. Okay, here's my work on E. E was hard. So if you guys got this, like, great job. You're doing awesome. If you didn't and you made some really small mistakes, that's okay because E is kind of a tough one. So on E, you were looking for groups of three. I highlighted the three. Um, I think the tricky part wasn't making the group of three with the numbers. It was, uh, what do I do with the letters? Because I only have two A's. Well, if you only have two, they can't break out. So you have to leave them in the radical. And that's exactly what I did. So the five cube root three A squared is going to be your answer. F. F looked super intimidating at first because 12 and 48 in the same radical jail is, is kind of hard and kind of intimidating. Um, but we were able to break it down really nicely and it worked out okay. Everybody broke out of jail. I did go ahead and I showed you right here me multiplying everybody. Oh, that's not a nice box. Hold on. Um, I showed you multiplying everybody in rainbow pen and there we go, green box. Um, everything multiplied out, and you should have gotten 120Y for your answer on F. So that's all I have for you on the day three video. Okay, if you have questions, you can ask your teacher in class tomorrow. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day.